Hello! Happy April Flation Wednesdays! As promised, we'll be answering um, important and crucial questions during our week on Wednesdays. So here I am. <laughs> Hi, it's been a minute. Also, on that note, I wish you all a very happy International Women's Day. Know that you are you, you a woman, that you are phenomenal, that you are beautiful, that you are strong. Here's to International Women's Day. Right, so today's question. Today's question will be answering two very questions that I feel like they are also very um, crucial and has been I've been dealing with it actually to be honest the past few months and that is um, Did I break the family's spoken and or unspoken words? Right or rules and to get to where I am right now um, Did I fail and number two is did I fail to meet the expectations that my parents and my siblings and even my friends had of me on my road to success. I am successful right now, but on my road to success, to where I am right now, did I fail to, to meet the expectations of what people around me had? Those are the two questions that we're going to dive in today. These questions are a yes, 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 yes. If you have also answered yes to these questions, then we are dealing with the same problem of guilt. Yes, guilt. Guilt of not meeting the expectations of those around us, right? Um, where I come from, where I come from, we are expected to buy cattle. We are expect, I am expected to teach my children uh, Oshiherero. Poor little things they have to learn English. They have to know English. It's an international language. They have to learn German. And they also have to learn about Jesus, about just how to take care of themselves as well, which is just too much. But I am also expected to teach them Oshiherero and our roots and our culture, which is a good thing, yes. But then sometimes if we decide to say, hey, listen, I'm going to leave this for now and concentrate on A, B, C, D, then we are failing those people around us. Also, we are expected to send money back home on a monthly basis, which is a good thing. You, we, are a, we are blessed to be a blessing to others, right? No doubt on that. No doubt on that. Don't get me wrong. But then where do we draw the line and where do we find the balance between investing in ourselves, moving forward in our dreams and in our vision and in the generation that we are now living in and also at the same time meet the expectations of our loved ones, of those around us. Yes, they wish us right, right? And yes, I love to give as well, right? Uh, and yes, culture is important, but then we have to find the balance. Where do we find that balance? Where do we draw that line to say, you know what, I choose to invest in myself today. I choose to follow my vision that I believe has been given to me by the Almighty. Where do you find the balance of not feeling uh, guilty when you have to say no to your parents when you have to say no to your friends because you want to invest in yourself and in your visions because you need to fill your jar you need to fill your cup so that it can run it over to those around you but the moment that you decide yes i'm gonna invest in me first i'm gonna fill my cup first and invest in my visions in my dreams the moment that you decide to do that, you start feeling guilty. You feel guilty of not meeting the expectations of others because then you are busy filling in your cup first so that it can run it over and live an abundant life and break generational poverty and cases and build your family home, right? We do have hopes and dreams for our, for our family and friends and stuff like that, but then we need to first fill in our cup. And the moment that we decide to do that, we feel guilty, right? And that put breaks on our life it holds us back and we don't even get to enjoy the the success that we already have right now like for me being in germany already is a success it's an answered prayer that i'm living in but you don't get to even enjoy it because then you you feel guilty for not meeting your parents expectations or your friends and whatnot and so hmm, you don't get to enjoy the answered prayers that you are in already. You don't get to enjoy yourself anymore because then hmm, um, you are expected to do A, B, C, D. And so if you decide to invest in yourself and just enjoy the space that you are in now and the answered prayer that you are in right now, you feel guilty. So that holds you back and that causes us so many other things that I don't even want to get into right now. And another example is um, 
finally you finish doing that house building finally you finish doing that degree but then you don't and now you're done right you're supposed to enjoy and enjoy your money and stuff like that or even just enjoy the freedom and the time that you now have to from studying and all that but then you are not in your presence anymore you are not in your answered prayer like you don't feel like you're even in your answered prayer because then all that you're doing right after that moment you are just respond responding to other people's expectations right left center right you don't get to enjoy the success that you have achieved by your own strength by finishing late nights and the crying and the hardships of finishing that house building or that degree you don't get to enjoy it anymore because you're just busy responding to other people's expectations of your life how you should do things how you should deal with your finances and what you should do and what you should invest in and do this and do that that you don't really get to even enjoy it right and so we will find lack of unhappiness lack of unfulfillment or something alrighty so I have three three ways that can help us get over the guilt that I have been feeling over this has really helped me the past few weeks right and that is number one um, have that sweaty 10 minute conversation with your family friends parents etc even with your siblings have that 10 minute sweaty conversation yes communication is key communicate with them the place that you have for all of you guys as a whole right the place that you have for your for your vision your dreams and how that can help them it can go like um guys for the next five months i am in investing in a b c d because of this is my why and this will benefit a b c d and i am sure that they will understand sometimes we are also just scared to face our parents and tell them i believe this is better this is how i'm gonna do things give me space and let's catch up later number two learn to just simply let go and let god <laughs> you know you cannot be building more than one house at the same time right you have to first build your house your house can be your body your body is your house it's a temple of god your house can be the foundations of your career your your dreams and your visions right so um trust god to fill in the gaps that you cannot fill in at the moment let god be the one to be the provider he's jehovah jireh right and just simply let go let go and do you and let god literally you know and then number number three it's okay it's okay to choose yourself it's okay to choose it's okay to choose yourself it's okay to choose your happiness it's okay to build you first you are a living human being and you matter all your visions and your dreams and the plans that you feel like you have for your children for your studies for your money and how you want to steward your money and spend it that matters that came from somewhere it came from your from your father he's your guide he has a purpose for you you only have one life and you get to live that life and you get to steward that life and that is okay it's okay to do you don't feel guilty push the guilt aside and leave you matter right it's okay and that's number three it's just to remind you that it is okay to choose your happiness it's okay to choose your success it's okay to choose to invest in yourself for a while Alrighty, that was it for this Wednesday from me to you. Peace and love till next Wednesday. Oh, and enjoy your hum Women's Day. <laughs> Treat yourself, woman. You deserve it. Remember that. Bye.